All right, welcome back to this old relic. So this week I'm going to be working on the Harbor Freight Tools trailer. Yeah, I experienced a problem with it. Four years, and it's the first problem that I've had that wasn't necessarily my fault. It might have been my fault, who knows. But these trailers have been notoriously known for bad wheel bearings. You know, they're not supposed to last very long. They, they tell you to buy extra ones right away. I, I still, to this day, yet four years later, have yet to buy replacement wheel bearings for my wheels. However, I am getting a loud noise out of this particular wheel. So we're going to have to replace some wheel bearings on this thing uh, because it's got to haul two yards of mulch on Tuesday. Frankly, I don't even know where I'm going to get the wheel bearings from. What I'm going to do, because when I parked the trail, I buried my floor jack. I'm going to put it on this very sketchy bottle jack here and get everything jacked up so we can get the wheel off, get the wheel bearing out. Just need to get it off the ground. I got this fun little tool here, this new Ryobi One Plus High Performance in Battery Powered Impact. It will do automatic, sure. <laughs> Oh, that's kind of cool. As soon as it breaks, it, moves, it slows it down. <laughs> that's what the automatic mode does. That's actually really a nice feature. All right. What's also really nice is this light. When you hit the trigger, it stays on for a while. So if you need to use it to light up your workspace, you still got that. And is this? There's still some meat on that tire, not much, but there's still some meat on that tire. I don't remember how to get these hubs out. I'm going to have to go grab a hammer. Here's the wheel hub, just so you guys know. You know, one of the main, ooh, those are loose. Maybe that's my, uh, oh, you know what, that's for the fender, which I still have to fix. Uh, a lot of you guys might wonder why I wash your channels. I want to see what kind of tools you got because I got to see if I want to add it to my uh, toolbox. A couple of days ago, I was having issues with this. I went and I did some re-greased it, tightened down this castle nut on here. So that's why everything's really well greased. Um, see, even some red grease in there. But it was well greased as well when I fixed the castle nut as well. So I'm not that. That was definitely not an issue. Uh, I always make sure to grease these bearings very, very well because, well, I'm on the last these four years, right? Come on. There we go. We'll just toss that in there and forget about it and probably cause problems with new bearings. This is the thing I hate most about bearings is everything's just a really, well, greasy mess. I remember if this whole hub has to come off. Oh, it does. That's easy enough. I got the whole hub cleared off. I'll clean this up a little bit. We'll work on getting these bearings out of here. I tend to use a million paper towels when doing this job. I do a really good job keeping my hubs greased. There's a little bit of play. All right, well, I'll probably take this one over to the press. And uh, once I get all this group cleaned out, we'll go ahead and see about pressing that center bearing out. Okay, so I'm over here by the... And, of course, I can't find the handle I need, so I'm going to use this instead. And I found the perfect size socket to push this through, so we're just going to go ahead and see... Just how well this thing works. Yeah, I know I can move it up, but the problem is I don't have enough space if I move it up one. So, this is where we're at. Okay, this should be coming out a lot easier than what it is. And it's supposed to push out the other direction. long enough. There 
It's coming. There we go. Here's a number. 30205. 30205. Who's got the raffle ticket 30205? Anybody, anybody with the raffle ticket 30205. HCH. HCH. 30205. Anybody with that number? Going once, going twice. All right, it's gone. What is really your imagination and not your imagination? Can you tell me that? Maybe this whole thing that we're living in called life is just a virtual reality of sorts. I don't know why I'm getting so goofy right now, but I am. And I hope that you're enjoying it as much as I am. I'm going to throw these in some in a plastic bag. National, Aer Mar Mar National Aeronautics uh, Parts Association, uh, I think is what they call it, right? NAPA? We'll, we'll go there, because I believe I was reading up online. They have bearings in stock, and they're able to measure them to get the right ones. I know these are metric, so they're kind of tricky to find. Go over to NAPA, get, see if we can get a hold of some bearings. Yeah, we'll work from there. If they don't have it, we'll go over to the farm store and have them measure it up and get the right ones, hopefully. I don't think they have metric, though. I know they carry bearings, but I don't know if they have metric. We'll find out all tomorrow. And we can go past the new bearings, but we're going to have to pick up some bearings, pick up some new grease, because the grease, I barely have any grease left, and it, that thing's been open so many times. It's probably not good. I'm going to replace the bearings on the other side as well. But these, this side definitely needs to be done, and it needs to be done before Tuesday. So I, I just keep wiping this grease off my hands. They're perfectly clean. So I just need it back by Tuesday. So I can go ahead, get the mulch that I need. Hopefully I can include that in this video. I need the mulch getting dumped in it, see if the tires fall off at that point in time. I wonder what these numbers are. There be no, there's these little numbers on it. I, anybody know what that is? That those part numbers, 30, 52, 10? Are those part numbers, size numbers? I don't know. What the heck are those? If you know, put it in the comments. By the way, if you're liking this video, or even if you're not liking this video, please click subscribe and like. Um, I don't care. You can lie like that if you're not liking the video. It's, I'm okay with it. I'm cool. Yeah, I'll let it slide. I normally don't like liars, but you know, if you want to lie and say you like something when you don't, especially if it's one of my videos, I'm cool with that. I really am. So go ahead, click like, click subscribe. I'm going to finish cleaning these up, and then tomorrow I'll go to the parts store, go get some new bearings. I uh, have spent the day on a wild goose chase looking for bearings. These are metric bearings. Um, I probably found some that could possibly work. I didn't want to take the risk. Uh, I, I want to basically get these in and just not have to worry about them again. So looking at the old bearings, there's not a lot of visual. There's nothing missing. There's nothing rusted out. There's nothing really corroded or deteriorated on them. Visually speaking, I can feel it, so I know that they're going. But um, And I can hear it, so I know that they're going. So I'm just going to continue with the mulch job on Tuesday with these old bearings in it. I repack them, put them back on. And then on Tuesday when I get the new bearings, I actually have a whole set to do the entire trailer. So we'll just take care of it then if I can get a chance to. Otherwise, I might have to go through the entire week and hit it on the weekend. I actually think these bearings are going to be good enough to last me till then uh, just by looking at them. Okay, so I'm back here with the hub. Now we got the little bearing in there. We just kind of flip that over. We take our second bearing. Now, <clears throat> there's a kind of a little element in this in this particular trailer. I think most trailers they go inside like that. Oops. And we're going to use this crown nut. You might ask why is it called a crown nut? Well, let me get it closer. I'll show you. It kind of looks like a crown. And these, this part here is going to go on the outside. And this part here is going to go on the inside actually holding the bearing. Now, this is the most difficult part, I think, of doing this, and where a lot of people get thrown off on is putting this nut on. They try to crank it down and tighten it like it's supposed to hold everything together, but then your bearings aren't going to move. What I like to do is just kind of get it tight, 
maybe crank it down a little bit. But overall, what I'm looking for is where this pin goes in. This is the old pin, but there should be a hole someplace here. Usually they go in very flawlessly. This one's a bent up a little bit because, well, it's used. And it's pretty much as simple as that. This should allow for everything to move and not have any kind of play. Just with that little bit of tightening, I mean, I can see I can have zero play in this. I mean, this thing, is, it, it almost feels like feels like it's brand new. I mean, I'm going to do something that's even very unorthodox for me to do. Well, because I got a fun, cool new toy. Now, when you put the lug nuts on, make sure the rounded parts go in towards the wheel. They're supposed to actually fit in the holes of the wheel. So, just for speed's sake, Getting this job done a little faster because this is all this stuff is going to be coming off. Yeah, this is what I've had holding up the vehicle or the trailer overnight. It's not moving or wobbling, at least at the moment. It probably will start it start tomorrow. But everything seems to roll really well, really nice for right now. We're just gonna roll with this on Tuesday when we get the mulch. Hopefully Tuesday night I'll be have the part and I'll be able to get it taken care of. Otherwise it's probably not gonna get done until the weekend. I'm actually pretty confident now that everything's put back together and seeing how everything rolls and flows. Let's talk. I probably have a lot of time before this thing actually blows completely. Why am I messing with this right now? Because I don't want to be messing with it on the side of a road. That's why. Uh, as long as I know that there's an issue, I can take the steps to get the issue corrected and have a little bit of time to, to buy with getting this issue corrected. Amazon Ferry dropped off the new bearings. Excite bearings? I've never heard of them. Let me know if they're good if you know. I hope they are. Came in a whole kit, so I got both sides. Two new seals. Two other seals. Oh, new caps. Oh, that's what that is for. That's what those are for, the, the caps. And here are the bearings. So we're going to take a couple of these bad boys. We're going to pack them. So these things are covered in oil, so there's no grease on them. I'm using this stuff. New generation wheel bearing grease. This came from Napa. Let me show you exactly how to pack them. Take some grease. Throw it on the palm of your hand. Pick up your bearing. Open side. And we're just going to keep doing this for quite some time. You might need to reposition your grease. Ultimately, what you're trying to do is you're trying to jam the grease through one side into the other. Once it gets through, we have enough grease. And if you look, you can kind of start seeing it pop up right in here. When you do that, you just move it a little bit and move into the next section. Sometimes you got to reposition the grease. Good to know because if you, you get these and you decide to get an extra set of them, you're probably going to want to pack them and seal them up before you use them as a backup or spare or whatever. It's always good to have some extra bearings in your, for your trailer sitting in the vehicle in case you got to do a roadside fix. But this is pretty much all I'm going to be doing. 
So I'll just go ahead and take care of this and we'll cut to the next section.